Hi teachers, in this quick video, we are going to walk through how to set up extra math with your Clever portal. You're going to want to set it up through Clever and not bother with manual creation anymore because Clever makes it so much easier. In order to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Clever portal and locate the page with all of your students. You don't want to do this on the page only visible to you. So click on the page with all of your students and then scroll down on the left hand side and make sure that you see all of the student names that you want. You will see all of your classes at the moment because this page is shared with all of your classes. So if you're seeing more students than what you want, there are some changes you're going to need to make to your teacher page. So if you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to reach out. If you see all of the students on the left, doesn't matter if they show red or green that's just noting if the kids are currently logged into clever you are ready to roll once you're here you're going to select add and select app extra math if it doesn't come up in the list you can search for it this way and select extra math and then you're going to click install extra math At this point, it is going to ask you to just verify that this is the course you want and you're going to select allow and continue. Once you select allow and continue, you are going, it's going to see that I've not signed in um, to Extra Math with this Clever account. If you already have an existing Extra Math account, you want to link your existing account with Clever. If you have never set up a manual account before, you're gonna go ahead and click, no, I don't wanna sign um, up for, I'm sorry, we're gonna do that again. If you have that existing account, yes, link my existing account with Clever. No, I don't wanna sign up for a new extra math account. No, I don't have an account. So I'm going to be creating my new account through Clever. Um, they made the options way more confusing than they used to be. <laughs> if you do have that account, you want to click here and it's going to ask you for your old username and password so that it can begin the linking process. And then um, because I'm setting up a new account, it's asking me how I'm going to use it. We're going to use it just as a teacher. And then you're going to confirm your name. You can put whatever you want in here. This is the name that is your full name. And then what do students call you? This is where you would put in that student name. So students are not going to see your full name. That's just more on, on the back end of things. Yes, it does ask you if you're 16 or over. That just has to do with um, privacy laws and such. Select the type of emails you would like to receive. This is completely up to you. I usually prefer to only receive the weekly progress reports um, or alerts. Sometimes it was nice to know that a student had finished a certain program and was ready to go on to the next, depending on what you set up for them. And then um, you have to agree to the policy. I typically avoid more emails than I need to have. I'm gonna select sign up. It's going to provision the account. It will take a moment to pull your Clever roster. Once it's pulled your Clever roster, you'll notice that you should see any courses that you have uh, across the top. It'll separate your classes. If you only have one class, you'll only see that one class tab. You'll notice that the add students button, you don't have the ability to manually add students. They have to be added through Clever. Students are also going to want to access extra math by clicking on extra math in Clever. There are other ways to get in, but I find it's more steps than if they just go to Clever and access things that way. Um, you do have the ability to choose any of the students, then change their programs. Obviously, this student is on beginning edition. We're going to head back to the class. Ban, manage to class, selecting change programs. I can choose all of the students. And then you can do add, subtract, uh, multiply, and divide. 
or you can do a custom program. So a custom program would probably be if you're working on just multiplication and division, you'd wanna do that. Otherwise, it's going to start the students all the way at that addition level. And then you can also decide if you want it assessment only. I typically leave the regular expanded um, is in beta version that goes up to the 12s and then beginning is below. This is also beneficial to know, especially if you're working with students who are struggling with fact knowledge, setting this for six seconds instead of three seconds makes it less pressure on the students and then you can decide are they using this to actually practice in order to gain that automaticity or are you doing this solely for assessment purposes? So once you have those all set up, let's say I wanna do assessment only this time, I'm going to click done and it will end up changing my students. And then when they log in, and I wanna restart the, oops, change program, multiplication and division, done. So I want to have the students logged in, double check the first time that it is giving them the correct program and allow them to continue on from there. If you have questions, once you're in here, the help button in Extra Math can um, help you navigate through those different settings.